AMD finally released the awaited Ryzen 9 X3D CPUs featuring the Ryzen 9 9900X3D and the Ryzen 9 9950X3D. The Ryzen 9 9900X3D is a 12-core 24-thread CPU with a boost clock of up to 5.5 GHz and will be packing 140 MB of cache with 120 watts TDP which is similar to the 9800X3D so we are yet to see if this will come as a power constraint to the Ryzen 9 chip in regards to the performance it can give when under full load given it has more cores that will all have to depend on the same TDP as the lower core count 9800X3D. As for the Ryzen 9 9950X3D, this will come with 16 cores and 32 threads with a boost clock of up to 5.7 GHz and will be packing 144 megabytes of cache and a TDP of 170 watts. Starting with the gaming performance, the 9950X3D was claimed to be an 8% generational increase in gaming performance when compared to the previous gen, the Ryzen 9 7950X3D. When compared to the competition, which is the Intel Core Ultra 9 285K, the 9950X3D boasts a decent 20% increase on average based on the 40 plus games tested with some games like Watch Dogs Legion favoring Team Red with a massive 64% increase in performance against Team Blue's finest. As for productivity, the 9950X3D was shown getting a 13% average increase in performance when compared to the 7950X3D on the 20 apps tested. Among these were a 6% performance increase in Adobe Premiere, 7% in 7-Zip, 13% in Adobe Photoshop and Geekbench, 16% in Cinebench and up to 17% in Blender and over 23% in the Corona benchmark when compared to the previous gen 7950X3D. When compared to Team Blue's finest, the Intel Core Ultra 9 285K, it is claimed to be 10% faster on average based on the 20 apps tested with performance gains of up to 33% in 7-Zip and up to 47% in apps like Adobe Photoshop. This meant the Ryzen 9 9950X3D was advertised as the world's best processor for both gamers and content creators who don't want to compromise over gaming performance for a higher core count CPU as this would perform well in both gaming and productivity. However, it's best to note that for gaming, the performance may differ in favor of the single CCD 9800X3D as was the case with the previous gen 7950X3D being slower than the 7800X3D in gaming scenarios, meaning this will most likely be the best CPU for someone who dabbles in productivity workloads and gaming on the side, so for gaming only, the 9800X3D might still offer better value, but the performance of these new Ryzen 9 CPUs is yet to be determined and the prices are yet to be revealed. AMD also announced that they were not just focusing on desktops in this Zen 5 generation, but they announced that they will finally be bringing X3D performance to mobile devices with their FireRange HX3D CPU, which is the AMD Ryzen 9 9955HX3D, which they claimed to be the best gaming and content creation mobile processor. The 9955HX3D will be beside the 9955HX and the 9850HX. As for specs, both the 9955HX and its 3D vCache variant feature 16 cores and 32 threads, 5.4 GHz boost, 54 watts TDP and the main difference obviously being the amount of cache with the HX3D getting a massive 144 MB of cache and the regular 9955HX having 80 MB of cache. As for the Ryzen 9 9850HX, it features 12 cores and 24 threads, boosts up to 5.2 GHz and has 76 MB of cache and the same 54 watts TDP as the other HX CPUs. These mobile CPUs are expected to launch somewhere in the next few months. And now for the next part, to no one's surprise, there was also a presentation dedicated to AI where AMD introduced the Ryzen AI 300 series codenamed Kraken Point and the Horizon AI Mac series codenamed Strix Halo. Starting with Ryzen AI 300 series, these chips are expected to compete against the likes of the Core Ultra 7 258V with the Ryzen AI 7 
350 being the faster of the two with gains of over 54% in Cinebench and over 78% in Blunder Classroom and an overall 30% average on the 9 apps tested on multitasking workloads and they also claimed impressive efficiency which is crucial in the mobile CPU sector. As I mentioned, AMD also introduced the AI Mac series that is expected to be a workstation tier of mobile CPUs. These are the AI Max Plus and the AI Max Pro 395, which feature 16 cores and 32 threads with a boost clock of up to 5 GHz. The AI Max and Max Pro 390 with 12 cores and 24 threads boosting up to 5 GHz and the 385 features 8 cores, 16 threads and the 380 will be the 6 core 12 thread CPU that boosts up to 4.9 GHz. All of them have configurable TDP of up to 120 watts, which is considerably high for a mobile CPU. This lineup has what AMD claimed to be the world's best integrated GPU for mobile CPUs that will all be on their unified memory architecture that will allow the GPU to access up to 128GB of system RAM with 256GB a second bandwidth that is all going to enable up to 260% faster rendering performance with a claimed 26 times faster rendering performance against Intel's Luna Lake's finest. And lastly, AMD announced their Z2 series that are the successors of the now previous Gen Z1 CPUs and are expected to be in the next generation of handhelds like the Asus ROG Ally, the Novo Legion Go and the Valve Steam Deck. The lineup contains the Z2 Extreme, the Z2 and the Z2 Go. The Z2 Extreme will feature 8 cores, 16 threads and up to 5.0 GHz boost 24 megabytes of cache, 15 to 35 watts configurable TDP, and 16 graphics cores, while the Z2 will also feature 8 cores, 16 threads with the same 24 megabytes of cache, but will boost up to 5.1 GHz with 5 watts less but similar TDP, but with lesser GPU cores at only 12 graphics cores. The Z2 Go will have half the cores and threads at 4 cores and 8 threads, and a boost of 4.3 GHz with 10 megabytes of cache, the same TDP and graphics scores as the regular Z2 processor. After these announcements, it's clear that AMD's naming scheme will only get worse from here and we will soon need a program to decrypt their product lineups. However, cryptic product naming aside, it's clear that AMD will and is dominating in the CPU market in all sectors from desktop to mobile and even handheld processors AMD has officially taken the lead. That's all for the CPU announcements from AMD at CES 2025. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for future updates.